All right, welcome back everybody. We got another budget deck today. We got some blue black control. This deck, this deck's a lot of fun. I mean, obviously control is kind of iffy. You know, a lot of people hate it. It's not the greatest to play against. Even I like hate getting all my stuff counter spelled, removed, whatnot. But this deck feels extra cheeky because we have Holebreaker Horror and Epiphany in here. Like even though we have our 15 total Rage or Mythics budget constraint, like this deck doesn't feel like it's missing anything. Like we just have powerful bombs and then removal spells and counter spells. A few draw spells to keep our hand full as we're one foot in our opponent. And yeah, we just we just win off of flushing in a whole breaker horror and then taking an extra turn. And it's it, it works. It works. So yeah, let's let's get into some games and uh horror epiphany win some win some cheeky magic. All right, let's do it. Kachi On the draw. It's a little unfortunate. It is what it is. This hand is uh, not particularly great. Five lands. We have a single removal spell. <clears throat> We're still on the draw. I actually think we keep this and just hope to draw interaction. Like we're a control deck, we want a one for one our opponent, so Mole getting already hurts us. Like we can use his epiphany to kinda get us some tempo advantage. We have a removal spell. A land destruction, field of ruin. Yeah, I think we keep this. Like we wanna be hitting all our land drops, and that's really important. So five lands is uh is hard to pass up. Looks like our opponent took two mulligans. If down to five, that's good for us. Alright, so they're mono white. Leave this on one, haul on two. Ooh, oh, yeah, good one. So let's go ahead and uh, foretell this because we can't gas grasp anyway. Looking for a Mythic Massacre, that would be our best draw. Alright, Reject's not bad. Opponent did not activate their Usher there, they just passed. That's a little awkward, a little interesting. Grasp Thalia here. We did take two extra points of damage. We didn't necessarily have to. Ooh, Valorous Dance. My opponent uh, got a pretty aggressive start here. Let's go and behold the multiverse. Don't really need a knee hook massacre here. All right, there it is. Now we just gotta dodge the. We're doing it for two in case they have their flash threat. Although we're still just dead. Alright, they did not have it. That is a, that's a good sign. We get to foretell this, tap land, hold up reject next turn, and then hold break core their end step into epiphany. That should be good enough. All right, portable hole. Second horror, it's not great. All 
All right, so now we are holding up this Veil of Ruin. So if they activate one of their man lands, we get to pop it. And then next turn on their end step to flesh in this whole horror. So we'll flash in horror on their their end step, then play Epiphany. Then we have the second horror as well. It should should be enough. Oh yeah, with this uh, giant too. Opponent can't even attack. Alright. Nice. Opponent did mold a 8, or mold a 5 this turn. Not this game. Forgot to play this land. Might be it. Alright. And they're just dead. So if opponent had two extra cards, they probably w could have gotten this game. We were at seven. All right, we got to bring in a little bit more removal. Cut some counter spells and run it back. Let's do it. Me hook massacre. Did win that game. That was nice. Definitely a powerful card. Not only wiped their board, but gained us three life. Very relevant there. All right, we're on the play this time. This is uh, the hard one for our. Oh, we're on the draw. My bad. I, I just assumed we lost. I don't know what that was. That was about. All right, yeah, we'll keep this. Syncopate plus Mihook Massacre. Everything we want. Behold, we're actually probably going to foretell Behold the Multiverse next turn. Although holding up Syncopate for a 3-drop is probably better. Punisher has absolutely no pressure on us right now. Yep. Exactly what we wanted. Although it does get them a counter on their familiar, which is a little awkward. Downfall was a decent draw. Four mana removal spells, three mana removal spells are not exactly what we want to be doing, but it is better than nothing. All right, we'll just uh, kill this now. Now opponent has zero pressure on us. We get to play one of our draw spells now. Play a memory deluge, it's the better of the two. Bone has to worry about uh, counter spells. Yeah, they're just they're just getting in with their haven. That is uh, that's pretty good for us. And they got an usher. That's fine. And right, we will take Epiphany and downfall, I guess. So we go five, six. So I can either foretell or hold up Hero's Downfall. I think I'd rather foretell Epiphany. Four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's fine. Actually, no, I'm going to play this because uh, I might... Holding up downfall is good because I can get their main land. And then I, I want to uh, have Mihook Massacre do to kind of just sweep up a little bit. All 
I'm doing this before they attack, because if they have that three mana card, I want them to have to tap their mainland. Alright, perfect. So I get two with this Meat Hook Massacre. Gain a bit of life back. And then next turn we get a Epiphany. Try to gain a little bit of momentum going. Put on just activating their Haven again. It's... I mean, Haven's a powerful card. Three mana, four, three. In a portable hole, that's fine. Mewak Massacre did his job already. Like, then spending a card to exile our wrath is fine. Alright, well, not a ton. We did make a few jump blockers. And then we have Memory, Deluge, and Behold the Multiverse. I'm actually going to fire this one off and try to hit a... I guess I'll grab these two. That's a little unfortunate. I wanted to hit a... Mana Removal Spell. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two. So I can play this and still hold up a two mana removal spell. This that is a dragon, so this does not work. I do get hole breaker and we we'll just take a second hole breaker. I mean, we have a, a, a behold already and a second memory deluge. We we'll just take power word kill. Check for traps. Sure, let's check for traps. That lets me trigger a hole breaker. Gain a bit of life. Keep our life total high. All runs of Epiphany is a good one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I can foretell this. Play this, and I'll uh, play this. Flash this in on their end step. And then play Epiphany. And horror. They do have Valorous stands in their deck, so they could remove this horror, which would be unfortunate. Yeah, that is awkward. Makes me a little sad we didn't take the other horror. Right, let's go and check where or Epiphany. And then behold the multiverse. I will keep a field of ruin. I don't think we want the third memory deluge. We already have this one. It's Horror is a good one. Let's check for traps. Which your opponent's last card is. Between Horror and Storm, all of the Storm Giants, uh, we can kill our opponent pretty pretty quickly. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can activate Field and play Horror. Ooh, we forgot to. Uh, we let them. Turn this into a creature. That is a bit of a misplay, because if they have another Valor stance, they can give it indestructible.
I guess it's not because they would have enough lands to activate another one. Let's go ahead and look at our hands. Probably gonna take the Blood Chief's Thirst. Just make us pay a little bit of extra mana. Yep. Right, let's get this portable hole, I guess. Gains us a life. In there for eight. Keeping this back to block in case they activate their cross giant. Because this this actually can't kill it, kill either of their main lands, which is awkward. So this is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have to activate Hive here. It's a little awkward that this this is not a May. We have to return something. But our opponent uh, should just be dead. These are five minute activate, so. Dead on board. Alright, we got there. On the draw both times. Nice. This, uh... I mean, Mono White is one of the best decks in the format right now. It, uh, is built to just eat up on Control X. So, the fact that we were able to easily 2-0 them felt pretty good. Even with all their mainlands. Like, we killed three Faithless Havens this game. They drew all four and two caves. And like manlands are supposed to be like even better against control. I don't know. This felt pretty nice. Whole Breaker Horror and uh All Runs of Epiphany are obviously both powerful cards. So not pretty not not too surprising. You just have a lot of powerful cards. Alright. I'll stop rambling. Thanks for watching guys. I will see you all soon.